What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with another figure review. Today we're doing something a little different. We're taking a look at a scale figure which is pretty much a statue piece. Uh, we're taking a look at a character from the fairy tale line and she is known as Lucy as you guys can clearly see down there. She is a one, one seventh scale painted figure. This is brought to us by the good folks at Good Smile Company, which is the company that brings us Figma. So quite cool, like the packaging. You have a nice picture of Lucy here. You have fairy tale logo up here. You have the sticker of authenticity right up there. And you have a nice display window right here for Lucy herself. Now on this side of the figure, you have the fairy tale emblem here with a nice picture of Lucy there. On the back, same exact thing. More poses, you can, oh, more poses of Lucy. Or actually more pictures of the same pose, pretty much. And that's on the accessory pieces that she comes with. And ton of Japanese that I personally cannot read. Over here, another picture. So there you have it. That is it for the box. So guys, Give me a sec, I'm gonna take Lucy out of package here and we'll see what she's all about. Give me a sec guys, I'll be right back. And we are back. We have Lucy, the 17th scale figure from Good Smile Company from the anime fairy tale out of packaging and I gotta say, she is an awesome, awesome figure. Now, like I said, this is a statue piece. So let me just give you a full 360 of this figure. It is beautiful. Like every aspect on this figure is just so spot on. I really, really do enjoy the pose that she's in. She looks very flashy, very just, it looks just so awesome. Now I'm going to say real quickly that she is a cast off figure. Now, at first I had no idea what the hell that meant, but I understand what it means now that I have this figure in hand. Pretty much that is where you can remove some clothing pieces, so yeah. If you want to see that, just stick around till the end and you'll see a little quick little version of that. But I personally will be showcasing and displaying my Lucy figure just like this. Now, what does Lucy come with? She comes with a manual right here. It clearly tells you how to, like I said, take off pieces of her clothing. It also shows you how you can take off pieces of her head or the, the head, the arms, the waist, etc. to put on some of the accessories that she comes with. So you get that right there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. She comes with this key that she holds in her hand right now. She comes with this little pouch, the black one that you see, and you have this one right here. The last thing that she comes with is this nice clear light blue display base with a fairy tale emblem. So there you have it. Now let's just, just enjoy this figure. So overall Good Smile Company, as you guys know from Figma and all these other things that they produce, they do an amazing job when it comes to accuracy of portraying the character. Lucy looks pretty phenomenal. I mean, um, I have only watched one or two episodes of Fairy Tale, uh, and I just wanted to do a little bit of background check on her, so I just did YouTube, Lucy, Fairy Tale, and just try to see what kind of character she was because I've not I haven't watched fairy tale um, as much as I should so when I saw it you can clearly tell from her pose from her expression from her just stance what kind of character she may be and it's quite awesome that good smile company was able to capture that likeness in a statue piece now real quickly going just going all the way down from her boots to the stockings, to her skirt, to her little um, shirt piece, to her even the bow tie, they got it spot on. I mean, look at that face sculpt. It is amazing. I love how the hair is nice and flowy. I love, 
even the little um, minor minute sculpting that they did with this hand right here to make it look like she's holding her purse it's just spot on I love how this piece right here you can just maneuver it it's kinda just like hanging from her waist and yeah so that's that painting I would have to say I give this figure a 10 out of 10 I don't see any paint blemishes I really like the boots um, the metallic paint that they, uh, the coating that they used on that. I like the matte flat finish for the stockings. The whites are very pearlescent. The blues are nice and just, uh, it's a matte finish, but it looks just perfect on this figure. The black, the little highlights on her belt, like that right there, the pink cross right here looks spot on. And just everything about it, even if I zoom in, you can tell by looking at her fingertips, come on, there you go, it's all painted in, in that nice pink um, color. So they went to pretty much the ends of the earth to make this figure perfect. Now the only downside I have with this figure is this piece right here. And you guys could probably tell as soon as I maneuver it back here. Maybe it was meant to be like this while because she's in this dynamic pose. But the purse doesn't sit flush on her shoulder. If you want her to have the strap in hand like that, then it's going to always be off like that. Now, if you look at it from this angle, you can't really tell. So... Um, yeah, it's fine, but if someone were to look from another side, like this angle, let's say, you can clearly tell that that's not how it's supposed to be. Uh, the other thing I really like about this is that, bam, that emblem right there. It was done perfectly, in my opinion. Uh, it's spot on, that's the fairy tale logo, and that's that. Alright guys, I don't know what else to say about this figure, so I'll give, just give it a rating and then call it a day. If you haven't picked up this figure, what are you waiting for? Especially if you're a fairy tale fan. Um, this figure is amazing. Um, the cast off version, yeah I guess is great, but um, yeah, as a collector and as a person who's going to be displaying his figures, mm, I'm probably not going to have it displayed like that. I'll show it to you guys like for a minute but other than that um, that will be the last time I have it in that pose but anyways guys if you haven't picked up this figure like I said I highly do recommend it um, it is a harder figure to find these days especially since the fairy tale franchise is quite big and uh, Lucy is one of those female characters that everyone wants I've seen her go from uh, from anywhere between uh, $80 to 150 depending on if it was opened or not. So I got mine pre-owned uh, on eBay from a seller in the US, so I got mine for 80 So it's definitely doable, but yeah, she is on the harder side to find for a good price. But if you can find her, I highly recommend it. Uh, I know there's two other figures that are out in this scale, <clears throat> and they are male figures. Uh, I plan on getting them as well. I know they're the main characters. Unfortunately, I don't know their names yet, but I will. <coughs> Sorry about that. Something was in my throat, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Let me, do let me know in the comment section down below if you have this figure. If so, what's your thoughts on it, etc. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Daybreak748. Oh, and by the way, if you want to watch the, the cast off version, just stick around after this and you'll see it. Alright guys, talk to you guys later. Alright guys, and it's about that time to show you the cast off version of Lucy. Now this is a little on the etchy side or a little bit on the more adult side. So yeah, just a little heads up there. But what is a cast off figure? I told you I would mention it a later down the road. 
it is where pieces of her clothing could come off. So, as you guys can clearly see, this is the Lucy figure. Very beautiful. But, yeah, she is in her bra and panties. Now, will I have her displayed this way? Absolutely not. Um, I don't think it, there's any reason why I should. It's just weird. I don't know. Something about this is just doesn't seem right to me. But anyways, just wanted to show you guys that it is a cast off. And uh, yeah, that's that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Daybreak748. And until next time, I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.